Eastley News spoke to Jack Stapleton, a Green Party candidate in the upcoming local elections. While he appreciates the work done by the Liberal Democrats, he thinks it's time for a change. I mean, I think the Lib Dems have done some good work in the council, but because, as you say, they've been in power for so long, it becomes stale. They're sort of just looking for traditional solutions to problems that really need some kind of fresh thinking. So the Green Party, we're all about bringing new ideas into local government, involving the whole community, getting everybody involved in the decision-making process so that it's not being carried out by just a few people sitting in an office somewhere. Everyone's involved making the decisions that will benefit them. The key thing at the moment, obviously, is the, the local development plan, a lot of housing, uh, planning on being developed around the area, and the question really is, where's it going to go, what kind of impact is that going to have? So the Green Party, we're against destructive development, we're against thoughtless development. There's got to be some houses built in you know, some places, we've got a housing crisis in the whole country. Every Green councillor will make a difference, more difference than just voting for one of the kind of main establishment parties that have been in power, getting things wrong for so very long. Uh, and we want to make a real positive change. We want everyone to get involved in that. Jack sees why people don't think these elections will change anything, but he hopes that a change of heart will equal a change of power. All the power is concentrated in London, in Westminster. The Green Party is against that. We want more power to local government, and we want to get everyone involved in that, so I think more turnout would be a good thing, but at the moment people don't necessarily see that it's going to make any difference, and we, we want to change that. With elections soon, the Green Party hope that on May the 3rd they will emerge with seats on the council. Ian Sheridan, Eastley News.